Parnell Buckley picked it off. For as long as he can remember, football has played an integral role in Parnell Motley's life. From the backyard showdowns to college football's biggest stage, it would be difficult to find anybody who loves to play the sport more than the Sooners cornerback. Because this game has come to be so much more than that to the kid growing up in Northeast Washington, D.C. I love about football, despite all the things that are going on in my life, I can just turn to that and just be myself do something I really love. and Football is his release. Football is his opportunity to go out and just have fun, be free, and just play, you know, so that's his comfort zone. This is my life, like, I, I don't see nothing else but football. It changed me to a better man. Without football, you know, then I would think that he would be like those other nine out of 10 guys in the streets. His escape, both figuratively and literally, football provided his ticket to Norman and it's football that delivered his rescue from the violence of his hometown, an area with one of the highest crime rates in the country. Despite all the things that was going on in my city, I could have easily been attracted to it, could easily grab me out and could have easily be dead or somewhere else. Oh, it's so easy. I mean, most kids, you know, nine out of 10 kids in his situation, they're getting pulled into that. Basically by yourself out there, I kind of had to grow around that as I was growing up and find a way. Oh, you're talking about a kid that's five, six, seven, eight, you know, all the way through you know, junior high to high school, basically being on his own and raising himself. I feel like football, we care so much, and me deciding not to do that because I care about my football, it kept me away from a lot of things. When I first got here, he was the first guy that I offered, actually, at Oklahoma. Um, loved his attitude, loved his charisma, uh, loved his backdrop, loved his story. Finding football as a way out for him to better his life and better his family's life. I just saw much brighter things and um, a great opportunity to get, um, get away from Washington, D.C. and and just changed my life. I knew I'd uh, become a better person out here. Man, I appreciate our ceiling on my head, because back home, I, I don't for sure have a ceiling on my head. It has also been the sport that Parnell has turned to during his darkest times. None more difficult than the walk home from football practice on August 13th, 2014. We heard, just heard some shots. Bow, 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 there's a lot of shots going on. They saw my mom, Parnell. Pernell, your brother's had me shot. We rushed over there and damn, it was like a movie. I, just, I saw my brother on the ground, this gasping, this kept gasping in. It was really scary. I was just in shock. Like I was crying and I ain't never think this could happen to me like this. And actually, um, I practiced the next day. I remember like just that. My coach was like, you want to take your day off? I'm like, nah, coach. Oh, this is about the only thing you take me, take things off my mind. How did your life change from that moment? This gave me a, a better view of things uh, like you can, Go down this road and follow behind your brother path or you can make the best of it. Dexter Motley's death should be enough for a lifetime that a person should have to endure. But sadly for Parnell, time and again, his phone has rung to deliver bad news. Another death, sister in a coma, family member in prison, and the devastating call last November informing him that his mother, Robin, suffered a stroke. Oh, it was just devastated, man, because my mom is almost 60, and this is about the first time I've seen my mom and anything tragic, anything like that. And um, the aunt that was taking care of me actually had a stroke. And to see the things my aunt went through, getting through that process, trying to get back on her feet, it was scary because she wasn't the same. And to be honest, my mom ain't the same right now either. It's really challenging on me while I'm at school 20 hours away. But things could have went any other way. It's, it's, it's all in God's hand, and I thank Him for that every night. My mom tells me she loves me every day, and I'm glad she told me that because you might know when it might be your last. I love you. It's not often his family gets to witness in person his game-sealing interceptions or his contributions to back-to-back -back college football playoff appearances. But in Morgantown on November 23rd, with his father recently out of prison and his mother recovering from the stroke, a group of his biggest supporters made the drive to West Virginia. Whether in stadium or watching on TV, it's not just himself Parnell is playing for each game day. Uh, man, I think about a lot of people on game days. I actually wrote one person I might have, my, my brother, Whitey, or my sister, my deceased sister, and my nephew, one of my nephews deceased, and, and put a lot on um, my shoulders on my weight to play to the best of my ability. And I'm the last, last one of my mom, the, um, the baby, so I know I was my mom's last hope.
People may not believe that they can come out of this environment and be successful, but I'm going to show them. And I think that that's, that's the approach that Motley's taking. You know, he's determined to make something out of himself. He's determined to show that the kids in, in that community um, and the people that didn't believe that you can come out of a community like that and be successful. Lobs it up down the middle. That one's picked off. Parnell Motley, and that'll do it. Just like any other sport, football comes with its fair share of wins and losses, triumphs and tribulations. But no outcome on the field will ever compare to what he has endured and conquered off of it. From Little League to the college football semifinal. For Parnell Motley, it's for love of the game that saved his life. I always tell myself things can be much worse. I've I seen it off the field and I know I've seen it on the field. And especially with the place I'm from, I didn't see it at all. I could have been dead a long time ago. You know, the environment that he grew up, grew up in, I mean, your life could be over with like that. Well, a lot of people know the saying that you're not given tomorrow, <laughs> but he knows the saying and he's witnessed it, you know, constantly throughout his life that, man, you're not promised tomorrow. You're not promised this next minute. One day I'm hanging out with my brother, the next day I'm burying him. You know, one day I'm on the phone with my mom, the next day she's having a stroke and I can't talk to her. You know what I mean? So I think that that motivates him, you know, to, to say, man, listen, I, I got to embrace every breath that I get and make the most of it. And, Although I've got hard times, I've seen enough of them to make me appreciate, you know, the life that I have. For the things that happened to me, I mean, where I am right now, and we're really fortunate because um, it's rare for people to make it out like me. I just always kept hope and just kept fighting and didn't give up and didn't let the streets take the best on me. So that's what got me today, to be in this blessed place in the University of Oklahoma. Intercepted Parnell Motley, and you can unhitch the wagon.